Welcome back to Just Academy Mathematics YouTube channel where we make you a mathematics genius. Today we have something very, very, very important to look into. We have a cyclic quadrilateral question and we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion. The question says that is a quadrilateral is inscribed in a cycle such that the vertex A, B, C, D touches the circumference of the cycle. If the chord A, B is 10 cm and the diameter C, D is 16 cm, they want us to calculate the area of the shaded portion correct to two decimal place. Okay, let's go. In this question, when looking at this diagram, you can see the shaded portion. There are two possible ways, at least two possible ways that we can tackle this question. The first uh, way we can get the area of the shaded portion is area of the whole cycle minus area of this trapezium, A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Area of this cycle minus area of this trapezium, then minus area of this minus segment this segment here. So area of the cycle minus area of the trapezium minus area of the segment, that is one way. Uh, the other way is that we may need to construct, we will still need to construct even if we are using the first method, because to find the, the height of the trapezium, there will be need for some construction. So the other way is that by construction, which is the second method I'm going to use, this is the same diagram here. Uh, so by construction, I will join here like this. This is radius. Uh, and this is also radius. Now notice that we now have one triangle AOD, triangle BOC, and sector uh, AOC, AOB, this sector here. Let's label it, this one is A, the whole of this, well, let's call it B, and this is C. So to get the area of this shaded portion, we get the area of this cycle, minus area of A, minus area of C, minus area of B. Okay, now, now that is what we are to do is obvious. The next thing is, how do we know the values? The most difficult thing here to get is the angles. But let's start with the side. They say that the diameter, which is uh, the diameter from the equation, the diameter is um, 16 cm. That is CD is 16. So if from here to here is 16, it means the radius is what? 8 cm. So here is 8 cm and here is 8 cm. Uh, and of, uh, of course, from AO is also what? 8 cm and OB is also 8 cm. Uh, remember that the chord AB is given in the equation. They said that AB from the equation, AB is what? Is 10 cm. That means from here to here is 10 cm. Uh, and if that is the case, because we need to know if here is 10 cm, we are interested in finding this angle. If we can know this angle, we can find these two angles. Because this angle here, let's call it alpha, and this angle here, let's call it alpha, is the same. So let's get theta first. We need to get theta first if we'll be able to get alpha. And for us to get theta, there are two ways we can do it. We can split this uh, triangle AOB, triangle now, into two. Then we'll use Sokatoa. That is one way. Or we can use cosine formula for, for, for angle. Uh, that is in triangle, in triangle A. O, B, this triangle like this. Uh, here is what? O. 
A, B, we are looking for here, theta. We know that here is 8, here is 8, and here is what? 10. You can use SOCA2 actually. We can split it like this. Then we we'll use uh, here is 5. Then we we'll use um, sine opposite of hypotenuse. Then we we'll times it by 2 to get the full theta. That is one way. If you prefer to do that, uh, we can do that. That is to get theta now. Uh, we can split this now into two, like this. So here is theta over two, theta over two. Why here is what? Five cm. Here is what? Five cm. Because the whole of this is what? 10 cm. So to find, uh, using one side of the angle now, that is opposite over hypotenuse, using angle A, O, maybe here is M. We can say that sine theta over what? 2 uh, is equals to 8 over what? Opposite no, uh, 5 over 8. 5 over 8. 5 over 8. Uh, so what do we do to find theta over 2? Because theta over 2 is together. Don't make the mistake of saying sine theta over 2. No. What we are to do now is that this means that theta over 2 together is equals to sine inverse of 5 over 8. So theta over 2 is equals to what is 5 over 8? Sine inverse of 5 over 8. Second function sine. Uh, sine inverse of 5 divided by 8 from here will give me 38.68 38 38 38.68 38.6 what? 8 degree of course so to get theta what is theta now? the full theta will be times 2 that, is, that answer multiplied by 2 that will give us 77.36 degree. So this is theta. Now that we know what theta is, which is this place, that will help us to find the area of this sector. And if we know theta, we can know alpha. Uh, alpha. So to find alpha, that is this angle here. We know that here is 77.36 now. To know here, these two are the same because they are the same angle, the same isosceles triangle, the same thing. So all we need to do is that uh, alpha plus alpha plus theta is equal to 180. Of course, 2 alpha is equal to 180 minus theta. What is theta? 77.36. So 2 alpha is equal to 180, 180, minus 77.36 will give us what? 102.64 divide by 2. So what is 1 alpha? Divide by 2. So alpha is 51.32 degree. So each of this angle here is 51.32 degree. So with this, we can find the area of the shaded portion. We will now come here and say, therefore, that the area of the shaded portion A. A is equal to, that is the area of the shaded portion, is equal to area of the cycle. Area of cycle minus minus area of the whole cycle minus area of this triangle area of this sector, area of this triangle, that is area of A, B, and C. So minus this plus this plus this, or minus this minus this minus this, anyone want to do. We add these two, these three together, one, two, three. Eh? So we are saying area of, eh? area of triangle A, O, D, A, O, D plus area of sector AOB plus area of triangle 
B O C. So we remove it from area of cycle. So we say that area is equal to pi r square. That is area of a cycle minus area of this triangle. Area of a, a isosceles triangle is what is a half arrow half arrow square sine theta. That is half arrow square sine theta. That is area of a triangle, isosceles triangle, plus area of a sector. This sector is theta over 360 times pi arrow square plus the same thing for the other area of a triangle, half arrow square sine theta. So finally, we have that this is 22 over 7 times 8 square minus, this will give us half times 8 square sine, sine theta for the triangle. That is times, not even half theta here. Here is supposed to be alpha now, not theta. Yeah, this is alpha, this is alpha. This is the one that is theta. So sine alpha, alpha is what? 51.32. Eh? Then at the end of the day, we add it to what? Plus area of the sector. Theta is what? Theta is 70. 77.36 over 360 times 22 over 7 times 8 square plus the same thing here which is half times 8 square sine 51.32 this will give us what we need so let's present the final answer there so 22 times 8 square divide by 7. This will give me 201.14. Minus this first one will give us what? That is 8 square sine 51.32 divide by what? Divide by 2. So this will give us 24.98 plus the one of this um, sector alone is what? 77.36 times 22 times 8 square divided by 2520. That is 360 times 7, which will give us 43. Point two two, the same thing here, plus twenty four point nine eight. So if we take away everything, finally we have that the whole of this here, that is two o one two o one point one four minus we are minusing twenty four. 0.98 plus 43.22 plus 24.98. Take it. So we have the final answer to be 107.96 centimeter square. This is the area of the shaded portion. So the concept of this question or the only difficult thing in this question is the ability for you to get the angle. If you can get determine the angle and be able to see that this is a, a sector, this is a triangle, this is a triangle. So the cycle, area of the cycle minus area of these two triangle minus area of this sector will give us the area of the shaded part. I believe you have learned something from this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and share this video now. Thank you. See you in our next class.